please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, please take attendance and do a quick dress code check. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mrs. Branson, and this year I'll be the counselor working with eighth grade students with last names A through R. Hello, I'm Mrs. Shemp, and I'm going to be the counselor working with seventh grade students, last names A through R. And I'm Mr. Miller. I'm the counselor that works with students from both grades, last names S through Z. Mrs. Schock is our social worker, and she works with 6th, 7th, and 8th graders doing a variety of tasks that help you to be able to come to school well prepared and ready to learn. So we are very excited to work with you this year. Some of our roles are to help you with your social emotional needs, which are things such as when you're sad and angry, when you have personal concerns about home or school, when you're struggling with friendship issues and any other issues that may come up throughout the school year. Most importantly, we're here to keep everyone safe. If you or someone you know is hurting themselves or being hurt by others or is thinking about hurting themselves, please make sure that you tell a trusted adult such as your counselor, teacher, or parent. Remember, if you see something, say something. We're here to do whatever we can to do to help. Email us also if you need to speak with us. We also look forward to discussing with you different options for college and careers. You'll see us all in your classes working with Navian's career lessons. And with this, you're gonna figure out what your interests and your strengths are and how you can use those to be successful. We're also gonna speak about high school graduation pathways and preparing for the future. There will be other programs such as JobSpark Career Fair, Central Nine, and Starfish. So we're happy to have individual conversations with you to help you figure out your college and career paths. And the third area that we interact with you in is with academics. First of all, we wanna make sure that you're in the correct level of class. We want you to be challenged, but not overwhelmed. And so we've spent time previously talking with teachers, getting input, looking at your records to make sure you are in the right place. But we're also here when you struggle. If you have some struggles and need help, whether it's with organization or just how to study for tests, those types of things, we're here to help with that. We like to celebrate your successes too. We'll make sure that we have an honor roll up each quarter. In fact, we have the honor roll already posted from last year. So those of you that were with us as seventh graders can look for your names on the seventh grade list from last year. And we hand out Cardinal Pride Passes. That's a special award that we give out at the end of each quarter for students who do an outstanding job with their grades, their attendance, and their behavior. And that gets you some special privileges at lunch as well as after school if you come to sporting events it gets you some free concessions. So that's something to look forward to. Eighth graders will get one this quarter already for what they did as seventh graders last year. All right, we encourage you to check out our Counseling Canvas page. You notice that on your schedule and you think, is that a class? It's not. It just allows us to make sure that there's a Canvas page for you where you can access all kinds of other resources. We're looking forward to a great year. Any students interested in participating in athletics at Southport 6th Grade Academy or Southport Middle School must have a completed athletic physical on file and complete the parent and student final forms. Athletic physical forms can be found on Southport's website under the Athletics tab, or you can pick up a hard copy from the main office of Southport Academy or Southport Middle School. The link to final forms can also be found under the Athletics tab of the school's website. First, click the link for athletic registration, then open the final forms parent handbook. Here you will find steps for creating an account for both you and your student. Hey, what's going on Cardinals? This is Coach Oblon. I'm the tennis coach here at Southport Middle School. I coach our boys team in the fall. I coach our ladies team later on in the spring. I hope you consider trying out for tennis 
But just like any other sport, we have a few things that need to happen before you come out for our team. Number one, you need to make sure you get a physical. We do have a physical night on July 20th at Southport High School. $20, you can go in and get it taken care of that night. If you miss physicals night, you could always go into a CVS, a Kroger, or of course your regular doctor. Number two, you need to get registered on final forms. This information can be found on our website, going through perryschools.org, clicking on Southport Middle School, you'll find your information about final forms from there. Information about tryouts are as follows. Our boys, we are gonna start on August 2nd. This is a Wednesday, this will be right after school and it'll run till 4.45 where you need to make sure you have a ride here to pick you up at the tennis courts. After school at dismissal, what you'll do is you'll meet me outside of Mr. Kite's office. Mr. Kite's office is located in the hallway just outside of the main gym. That day, you need to make sure you have athletic gear to change into that does not include your physical education uniform. You need tennis shoes, you need a racket and a water jug. Once we hit tryouts, if you're looking to make the team, what I'm looking for is this. Number one, do you have a good attitude? Number two, do you work hard and do you follow directions? I consider anybody, even a beginner, if you follow that checklist. Again, I really hope you consider tennis. It is a lot of fun. If you are trying out, gentlemen, I'll see you August 2nd, right after school. Be there. You know, sinking that putt would have been a lot better if I would have had a team around. Why should you try out for Southport Middle School Golf? Golf is a great extracurricular activity. It's a short season that still requires commitment and work ethic. Golf is a sport that doesn't require the athlete to be super athletic. Anyone can learn to play golf. It's also a great way to be competitive. Our girls team is coming off two very successful seasons. You can also meet new friends and be a part of a team. And then once you learn how to play golf, you can do it the rest of your life. If you're interested in joining, here's what you have to do. The call out meeting is Wednesday, August 2nd in the middle school cafeteria. Parents are strongly encouraged to attend this meeting. You must be registered on final forms before trying out, player and parent. You also must have an updated physical for the 23-24 school year. Golf clubs are not needed for the tryout. And remember, girls grades six, seventh, and eighth can try out for the team. I hope to see all interested Cardinals, or as we golfers call them, birdies, in the cafeteria Wednesday, August 2nd at 2.45. For any questions, please reach out to me, Coach Reed.